Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tal and welcome to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your channel for all things dinosaur. So before we get into all the dinosaur goodness, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification button so you don't miss any new episodes of dinosaur content coming your way. So alongside my handy dandy Jurassic Park hat, today we're going to be jumping into a quick dive about the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Make sure you leave a big old dinosaur sized thumbs up and comment down below your favorite dinosaur and let's get right into this. hands down most notably the most famous dinosaur of all time. So the Tyrannosaurus Rex, also known as the T-Rex, lived 65 million years ago at the end of the Cretaceous period within the Mesozoic era of planet Earth. This was a time where the Earth was abundant and full of many different species of dinosaurs, but this was also sadly the end of the dinosaur era. So what did this dinosaur look like? The Tyrannosaurus Rex is one of the largest dinosaurs ever found on planet Earth. It comes from a type of dinosaurs referred to as theropod dinosaurs or dinosaurs that stand on two feet. The T-Rex at its largest was a whopping 40 feet long and we can infer that it was about 15 to 20 feet tall so this thing was massive it had tiny little arms and massive jaws with a huge mouth and enormous teeth and these teeth were serrated built to rip flesh when it dug into its prey it had a massive powerful tail that also helped it keep its body weight balanced and there's definitely a debate within the scientific community whether the Tyrannosaurus Rex had feathers or scales there have been fossils found that are relatives of the Tyrannosaurus Rex that might have had feathers on them which let us know that maybe the T-Rex at some point during during its life, whether it was a baby or an adult, had feathers on its body. But this is left to speculation within the paleontologist's world because we obviously can't confirm it. The cool thing is, is that with various artists' renditions, we can take a look at what this animal maybe looked like with feathers or with scales. Imagine a giant bus with legs that may or may not have looked like a chicken trying to eat you. And that's what a T-Rex might have looked like. So how did this dinosaur gain its notoriety? Well, for being found in the United States at a super popular time for dinosaur discovery and being featured in tons of movies, magazines, comics, shows, the T-Rex has become a fan favorite when it comes to dinosaurs. Everybody knows who it is. Just the word T-Rex rolls off the tongue as second nature for most people, whether you're a dinosaur lover or not. When paleontologists discovered the T-Rex, it broke world news and it became super famous right off the bat. Most notably, the T-Rex was a fan favorite for the movie franchise Jurassic Park, which you can see right here on my hat. It was featured first in Michael Crichton's book, Jurassic Park, and then brought into the real movie screen. With incredible robotics and amazing CGI technology, we were able to take a glimpse at what a real raging Tyrannosaurus Rex might have actually looked like. And just as a side note, there's actually a paleontologist named Jack Horner, which the entire Jurassic Park franchise is actually based off of, who's currently trying to recreate a dinosaur. And one of his attempts was to actually extract DNA from fossils of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. They didn't get dinosaur DNA, so we won't have any Tyrannosaurus Rexes running around anytime soon, but they did get red blood cells and collagen out of the dinosaur fossils. So even though we won't have a T-Rex, it gives us a lot of information to be able to learn about how these dinosaurs behaved, acted, and what they ate and did 65 million years ago. All right, let's jump into the locations. Where was this dinosaur found? So the Tyrannosaurus Rex existed 65 million years ago in what was North America, nowadays, Canada, and maybe even parts of Mongolia. And so the arid deserts that T-Rex fossils are found in now were actually once lush forests, beautiful winding rivers, gorgeous natural streams running through amazing parts of the Northwestern United States, Canada, and parts of Mongolia. All right, so now that we know where the T-Rex lived, let's jump into its diet and behavior. By no surprise, the T-Rex was a carnivore, which meant it ate meat, and lots of it. Some scientists believe that it ate almost 500 pounds of meat a day. There are even inferences to be made about the T-Rex potentially being a cannibal. We don't have confirmation on this, but there is speculation within the scientific community as well. So you might be wondering what the T-Rex fed on. There's a wide range of things we could speculate on what it ate, but we have confirmed and we know for sure that the T-Rex definitely ate on its neighboring dinosaur, the Triceratops. This was another dinosaur that roamed through the same exact geographic area area back 65 million years ago. We also know for sure that fed on animals such as the duck-billed dinosaur like the Edmontosaurus and potentially even the Parasaurolophus. We can definitely assume and make inferences that it ate other sauropods or young sauropods, six sauropods that existed in the area, other duck-billed dinos, and even other theropods that existed in the area, such as different carnivores that were living around the same time. We do know that the T-Rex was not a pack hunter, so it did hunt in solitude, even though there are scientists that do debate that. We know that its tiny little arms were pretty much useless. We do know that like many other animals, the T-Rex definitely fought each other over dominance of area 
and mating habits, which means they would essentially fight each other so they could have babies. The T-Rex was an incredible, amazing animal, and I'm super pumped to see it on screen again for the new release of the new Jurassic Park movie that's coming out soon, and I'm sure that if you're watching this video, you probably are excited as well. Make sure you subscribe if you love the T-Rex and leave a big dinosaur-sized thumbs up for the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and leave us a comment with your favorite dinosaur or dinosaur that you want us to do a quick dive on. For this quick dive series, we're going to be featuring all the dinosaurs, marine reptiles, and flying reptiles that are going to be featured in the upcoming Jurassic World Fall Fallen Kingdom movie. So if you're excited about Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, you're not going to want to miss these upcoming videos. I think it was an amazing start to start with the king himself of all dinosaurs, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, or herself in the sake of Jurassic Park. If you like this channel and you want to support us, make sure you can check out our PayPal link down in the description below where you can send us a donation. Your next dinosaur is going to be the Velociraptor, and we'll see you then. Goodbye.